Okay, the next one, Robbie Lawler, who was going a bit with the uh, the uh, lumberjack look there with the yeah. with the beard. Or actually, Abe I kind of call it an Abe Lincoln yeah. thing. Cause yeah, because he was grooming was it, and he was grooming it. Like, yeah, he he had spent some time, and he's he's hunting. This yeah. is hunting season. He was uh, had the beard working. The mustache didn't catch up though to it a little bit though. So he's working a little yeah, Abe Lincoln. Going seriously, on I I could hunt for like four months. I wouldn't get that thick of hair on my face. <laughs> I get that patch kind yeah. of thing. It's not attractive. Anyway, Robbie Lawler uh, taking on Matt Lindland, and uh, Matt Lindland has been on several fighters' recent highlight reels, uh, and uh, and not in him being the uh, the one doing the knocking out. This one was no different. Robbie Lawler came in there, and I and I was saying it, you know, and as many people, I, I'm sure, also, uh, it's not really sticking your neck out to suggest that Robbie Lawler is going to knock out Matt Lindland here, but not ten seconds later did I see uh, Lawler knock him out to the point where. Um, you know, Lawler had to gently place uh, Lindland's legs back down to the canvas as they were stuck out like cord. Yeah, wood. that was kind of funny. Was, you know, uh, I mean, the the good thing here is, you know, we're I'm I'm a big fan as are you of Robbie Lawler from even from back in the day with the UFC. Mm -hmm. But but the thing of it is, is he's always kind of ended fights, you know, a little cocky. You know, I remember what even outside the UFC when he was fighting Frank Trigg, Frank was literally seated. Knocked out, and I think he took like seven shots. Yeah. You know, but I mean, just big bombs, yeah, you know, and yeah. I know the referee was like, Mahalo, do what you want. Because <laughs> it was in Hawaii, remember? It was, it was. Uh, but I, the deal is, this time, I mean, he did, he stopped. He, he no, Once he realized he was knocked out, he took that one big shot, went to the ground, big punch on the ground, and then he literally, like he the referee, it. he's out. Yeah. So that, they let him calm down, which was good. They let him walk around, have a monster, a rock star, whatever deal there it is. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and then he came back, you know, and, and uh, so that's good. But, you know, I remember or right when he got knocked out, you said, when is it going to be enough for for Matt Lindley? I mean, you know, is this it? You know, please, because he has been getting knocked out pretty bad. Yeah, Vitor Belfort was a terrible one, the Affliction mm. show. I mean, that was vicious. It was even more vicious than this one. Yeah, and I think in retrospect, I was trying to think that this was worse or as bad. Because we were there live, and we thought there might be a death. I oh, mean, seriously. Was, and, I mean, people were panicking. It took like, several know. minutes yeah. for the guy to just get in, back up to the seated position. <laughs> and, and just like in the Affliction show, he wanted to try to get up too early. And just like in here, he wanted to get up too early, and we were kind of joking. It's like, the guy's going to get up vomit and crap himself because he wants to try to walk out of his own <laughs> power. Some dignity, dude. Yeah, but he's got his dignity. Oh, I mean, come on, man. No, you just... It's too much. Linlin, you need to step aside and, and commentate or coach, yeah. but don't fight anymore. I mean, it, maybe it's the money is the issue, but remember, for, I mean, we, we talked about this, but a long time ago, he, he was kind of like not fighting for other reasons. You remember when he was actually relevant and one of the top guys, mm -hmm. you didn't see him fight, but he used to dictate the pace. And I don't know, in this situation, he looked like he was he was okay with standing and trying to bang. Well, he was, it was only 50 seconds. <laughs> There's not a whole yeah. lot to evaluate. Words, <laughs> words of wisdom, run in and try to tackle him, brother. Oh, try to do what Randy Couture did with uh, James Tony. Don't mm -hmm. even pretend you're going to box. Because yeah. that's exactly, I think the people that cause... Tr uh, uh, Robbie Lawler trouble are guys who are going to close the distance, guys who are going to clinch, of course, take you down to the ground. Uh, you know, that's what he ran into with, with Jake Shield. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is a great performance. This is what Robbie Lawler needed. Yeah, yeah, he needed to get back on, uh, on, on the... Well, He's he... probably got a title shot now. <laughs> because there's only like three guys yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Paul Daly, Scott Smith, and you know, my boy Scott, he had a puncher's chance. <laughs> You know, I seriously, this is how stupid your pick was. I mean, really, I, I, I can't even, I, you know, I can't even try to candy coat it. When, when you were actually going with him, and I tried to bet you money, and then that was when you like snapped out of it. But one of the great things, you know, about about YouTube is that it, it never goes away. It I guess go away, once you once you put something on the internet, people are still responding to it. Like, did he? Did he really? You know, they don't know us that, that episode. Smith did, was did that, yeah, that other guy, did he really said pick Scott Smith. You know, I'll take, <laughs> I'll bet money on that. We got. Well, I'm just saying, I wouldn't have been surprised to see an upset oh, here. Really? Well, because exactly. I mean, the guy's got the hands, and he can catch Daly. Daly could underestimate it. Crazier things have happened. You know, Matt, Sarah, hmm. GSP. Come on. Yeah. It's like saying, yeah, it's like putting a high school defense against Michael Vick, okay? <laughs> I mean, they're just two different levels. Not disrespecting the trip. I'm not <laughs> disrespecting the high school defense, as I'm not disrespecting Scott Smith's 
I mean, I think he's Scott Smith, and I like him as far as a entertaining fighter. He's not at the level of the UFC fighters, and that's why he's here. He's one clearly one dimensional. He has been blessed with some great opportunities, uh, with some strategic fighters. You know, you can say, "Oh, he's Mr. Comeback." Really? Who has? I mean, his coming. He's come back from a few fights. Pete Sell. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are we gonna say there? He was on the ropes, baby. Kung Lee, and I think there was like one more in there. But again, these people, anyone you're gonna pick. They are not Simtex Daly. I mean, Paul Daly is a guy <laughs> who should be in the UFC, should be in the you know near the top of the UFC, especially in the welterweight division. You know, he had a little unfortunate cost check situation, <laughs> and he's not there. He looked awesome tonight, and I swear when he knocked him out, and you pointed out his little the guy's feet. I've never seen someone slam <laughs> head first. Oh, he got knocked out. I mean, twice. it was once just by Simtex yeah. and once by the canvas. I mean, he hit hard. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it was not pretty there. Uh, yeah, foot, foot kind of uh, <laughs> askew a there. And in hindsight... <laughs> yeah, is that it? You going to give me that? I'm going to say I, I extended myself a bit too far with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... You, maybe. Seriously, you drink, yeah, you were drinking that crazy Kool-Aid with the whole Scott Smith thing because I'm like, you. we've watched the oh, same fights, dude. Man. You know, it, it just like the same time people get excited, you know, like with the Kung Lee situation. And weren't you know where they were starting to put him in the top ten? Remember yeah, when he yeah, beat yeah. like Frank Shamrock, who was well past his prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know we'll see in the future as far as Semtex Daily. But I think he's going to have a successful career. And once again, force. is he vying for a title yeah. shot? One fight into the strike force. When so. they when they said that to him about oh who's it going to be next? Noon, KJ Nunes or Diaz. or Diaz? Both are going to be awesome. He said he wanted KJ Nunes. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, so would, I would love to see a Nick Diaz fight. Yeah. Those two guys can talk some crap. And oh, Diaz yeah. is going to stand and bang with him. Oh, Diaz yeah. is not necessarily going to pride. He is not going to cost check this fight. No, <laughs> not by any means. All right, the next one, Dan Henderson, Renato Babaluso brawl. Henderson via knockout punches round one, 153. Now, this is the Henderson that uh, we all know and love from the mm. Vandalay Silva and Pride, the, the uh, uh, Michael Bisping, yeah. uh, his final UFC show. That's the Dan Henderson that uh, we wanted to see, and that's the one that we saw here. So Brawl uh, definitely taking the brunt of this one. Yeah. And uh, and it's weird. You don't know. He says he prefers 205, but he can fight at 185. And I was talking about that. He's like, well, maybe people thought that he's just not suited to 185, how bad he looked in the Jake Shields fight. But then he fought at 185 against Michael Bisping when he clocked, cleaned his clock. Yeah. So he looked good at 185 at certain times. And then at 205, you know, he's looked good and bad. And uh, this one, he looked really good at 205. So yeah. who knows where he'll end up. I, I think if he wants to stay at 205, I think they'll have him stay at 205. Yeah, you know, I mean, this was a, this was a good fight. And I don't know what it is sometimes, like with the Jake Shields fight. If he thought, hey, looking at, like, how Simtex Daly really controlled that fight with Jake Shields on the feet, maybe he thought, hey, I can stand and I can knock out Jake Shields. Because, I mean, he, he blew his wad in the first round. We don't know what, as far as the the background is, is uh, with Dan Anderson and, and that fight. But after that, he was done. Rounds two and three and, and on were, were, you know, it was over. But in this situation, he came in, maybe had more respect, of course, for the ground game. The overall, he felt that Bob Lou had a suspect chin. But I'll tell you what, you could have a granite chin. He hit him, and it, it sounded like someone dropped like a huge flower pot just Boom! When I mean that that punch landed, or like a medicine ball hitting the ground. I mean it. That was a shot, and we 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 looked at his eyes. And Babalu's eyes were off to the side. I think yeah. that first right punch he was knocked shot. off, mm -hmm. knocked out, and then uh, he proceeded to get like three more. Mm -hmm. But uh, great fight. But no one should be surprised at the power of Dan Anderson. No. He, he you know that he was going for it, but I think he was respectful for the ground of the ground game. He showed some good scrambling, but once he got him down. I mean, he's the king of ground and pound. At least, I think, one of the best guys out there right now. Yeah. Even yeah. still, even with his old age. Really good uh, performance there for Henderson. So, Brawl, he'll, he still has fights left in him. It's not like, oh, he should retire too or something. You know? No, he's still got fights in him. Um, but his place, is, is his time has passed. Yeah. And Henderson still has a, a chance. And, and again, a, with the thin... Uh, in uh, division that it is, he could be fighting uh, Cavalcante uh, very shortly there for the title. So there you go, Strike Force Henderson back on top.